We have a very short amount of time, so uh, I'd like to give you a minute okay. to do your closing statement. So, uh, uh, can I like, you start off with this? Thank you very much. I really appreciate being able to get together and have a conversation tonight about things that we all care about. And if you look at my history, which luckily is not over yet, you will see that for the last two or three decades, from my time as president of the Low Income Neighborhood Association for 15 years, to the chair of the Public Housing Commission, to president of the Lyft Foundation, to serving with great people on the city commission for 14 years, trying to do the good work of creating shared prosperity here in Kalamazoo. I want to keep the work that is getting started going forward. That is what I'm committed to. I am a volunteer for Kalamazoo. And that is the work that I believe we need to do together. Big tent, bring everybody in. Let's not make this circle smaller. Let's make this circle bigger. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so for me, I think we, some, we need some fresh blood in there, right? Uh, we need some, uh, so I, I consider myself a servant leader. Out front, in the trenches, doing the work, right? That's what we need. We need to shift. Uh, the way we look at the, the mayor and what his position is um, and that public figure. We need a servant leader with good leadership, strong vision to move Kalamazoo forward. Um, I truly believe that I can bring that. I'm a connector, I can bring people together uh, when it comes to collaboration. We need to be build true community in this city. And I truly believe that if we can do that, we can be an example to the nation. I truly believe that with the resources, uh, the, the, the creativity, all the things we have in Kalamazoo, I truly believe that we can be an example for the country. Uh, we're already doing it with some programs that we're offering for Momentum, planning in Iowa. So I mean, it can happen. Just imagine. Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, when I was 18 years old, I was a victim of violence and I almost died, and I became a shooter. So at one point in my life, I was that guy. So I faced the court system, I faced all that stuff, and for me to be sitting here today on the opposite spectrum is amazing. And it gives me the chance where I've been to Lakeside, I've spoken at Kalamazoo College, at Western Michigan State, to younger kids about gun violence, and, and, and being in the prison system, and being locked up, and to make a change. And I think, like you said, we need younger blood. We need somebody that understands our youth, because our youth are our future. And if we got a bunch, if we got older people that cannot relate to these kids, it's gonna be out of control. We are the ones that are gonna have to lead this next generation of kids into these successes. And I think myself, myself, or the younger generation that do that. I've been born, I'm running for this seat because I think we need something different. We need to have a mayor who believes in listening to people and having conversations. That's why the campaign that my team and I are running is about outreach. We have, uh, looking at the numbers the other day, we have contacted at the door literally tens of thousands of people. And we always start that conversation with what is it that you would like to see the city change to make your life better? That defines why I'm running. I believe that the reason the city government exists is to make the lives of residents better. And we need to find out how to do that. How can we create better jobs? How can we create a cleaner environment? How can we get rid of discrimination? How can we create safer communities? And how can we create a better council? Thank you. Thank you.